My name is Kyle Flint, and I am this year's MIT Forum Chair. Those of you, um, is it that is, this is your first event, please raise your hand. Okay. And how many of you have been to an energy event before? So, all right. Wow, that's like 50-50. <laughs> Um, so, so uh, like you said, this is, uh, this is exciting. Uh, we hope that you've had a good opportunity to network with each other and uh, have, have ha had the chance to, to make the connections. Um, Graham and Dunn uh, has always been a very strong, solid supporter of our, our energy uh, presentations, and particularly the Green Forum. Uh, and as, as I was talking with Kathleen, they, they actually have a specific group of their firm that is dedicated uh, to, to Smart Grid, and as you said, as Smart Grid is growing, they are also learning the ropes. Uh, and, and so uh, we're excited to, to have them sponsor and, and be a part of our event tonight. We at Graham and Don, and particularly the Green Temp Group, are really happy to be part of the dialogue and the solutions that we face. And so we're, we find this particular topic very exciting. Um, one of the benefits of being a sponsor is that we get to introduce the moderator. Tonight, the moderator is Dennis Dubois. I think most of you know him already, but he is the CEO, principal of P5 Group, as well as the editor of Energy Priorities Magazine. And he has been a consultant to high-tech industries for 25 years. So welcome. I'm honored to be in your presence. I'm also honored to be in the presence of a terrific panel uh, David Kaplan is uh, uh, an entrepreneur, started at Microsoft, didn't start at Microsoft, left Microsoft to start a company that solved problems with electric vehicle charging on the grid. And I've asked David to take the first five or ten minutes of this forum to tell the story of that, his own transition from tech to grid, and how that went and how he ended up exiting that startup. Thank you. Um, I'll ask you to understand prepared remarks. There's a lot to cram into a short time. Uh, in keeping with tonight's theme, I'll describe my company, V2 Green, as a, a case study, including lessons learned, in how technology entrepreneurs can capitalize on the smart grid. Right now, I work for Snohomish County PUD. I'm the, the uh, chief operating officer. And I'm in charge of all the transmission and distribution. So when you, you think about the grid in Snohomish County, um, and, and when your lights go out, think about me. Um, I'll, I will be somewhere <laughs> other than home asleep uh, and trying to get the lights back on. And thank you, Chris, for having a title that might actually be as long as mine. I, I appreciate that. Many of them up here are very short. Um, so it, we do the software that uh, allows people to you know, manage and optimize uh, the movement of electricity around the transmission and distribution grids. And we also uh, work in the deregulated uh, market, so uh, enabling the selling of electricity in uh, those areas that have deregulated markets. Just a little history of the company. We were uh, founded in 1978 here in Bellevue by uh, 11 you know, visionaries. And uh, we've been here since then, about 350 people right now. And we are the uh, world leader in our, the network management solutions for the uh, electrical industries. I would just say that I've never had a career plan, but I've had incredibly good adventures. And it's, it's really been quite fortunate. And as long as my learning curve is like this, I'm in the adventure. And when it flattens out, I find the new adventure. I've been part of a number of, of startups and started up companies and, and grew them. And my advice on that side of the table is never let your ego get in the way of your equity. There's always somebody that's better at what you are in terms of advancing that company. So I like the front end of it. I like to get it started and positioned and IP and that sort of stuff. But ultimately, when you grow and when you scale, you need a bigger team. Now, I sold my last company in 2000, and it was an international company, and I retired. And then I flunked retirement, <laughs> and I found another company, and then I found a national laboratory. And what I've been trying to do at that national laboratory is essentially turn a laboratory that's always been a good research laboratory into a much better and maybe even a great research enterprise. I started my career as a, a computer science faculty member at uh, Rutgers University. Any Rutgers grads in the room? 
um, doing research in artificial intelligence and what I called fuzzy reasoning. And dealing with fuzzy concepts has uh, served me well over the years because li life is very fuzzy. Um, then spent 20 years in industry, including running the advanced technology group at Apple Computer. You mentioned Alan Kay. Alan Kay was one of my Apple fellows. He was an interesting fellow to manage, believe me. Um, and uh, then uh, went back to university down at UCSD. I ran a center for entrepreneurism at UCSD for a while in Southern California. And then moved up here, joined OVP. I'm now half time at OVP and half time at the University of Washington Center for Commercialization, helping to identify technology concepts uh, inside of UW that we can wrap business models around and spin out as companies. When I think of smart grid, I'm thinking of a supply side that's actually pretty well structured and long cycle technology, poles and wires, long cycle, and a demand side that's largely unstructured with an incredible amount of short cycle technology. So if it gets smart, it's going to have to start talking to each other back and forth. What's been one way, supply chasing demand is going to have to become interactive. And we're going to have a smarter grid when supply and demand are interactive. And I would just close by saying this. The software, the, the energy industry needs what we know. So let's bring that and give it. The energy industry is, as you might have surmised, slow moving and conservative, very unlike the industry that we're from. Let's change that too. And finally, the energy industry is uh, very male dominated. So let's change that too. Now, please join me in thanking Mike, Michael, Davis, David, Dave, and special thanks to Chris and Rick. Just a quick uh, thank you to everyone for coming to our event this evening. Uh, pay attention next week. The demo finalists will be announced. Um, the upcoming demo event will be on December 9th down at the Union Square boardroom. And then also, if anyone is interested in uh, signing up for the uh, kind of the things to help out Jerron, there's a sheet out on the table um, in the lobby. So thank you all again for coming. And thank you, all speakers, for, uh, for participating. Thank you.